Welcome to Main Street Living. This program offers you the opportunity to participate in a worship service led by pastors and congregations of the Lutheran Church Missouri Senate from your surrounding area. On today's program... So who is this Jesus who speaks so boldly? Who is this Jesus who does not bring peace but the sword? Why is... Why are our fathers turning against their sons and daughters against their mothers? Jesus, he's, he's supposed to be nice. He's supposed to be peaceful. He's supposed to be loving. Who is this Jesus? The service will begin after this opening hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We continue with the confession. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us then confess our sins, to God our Father. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, but what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves, and we justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we might delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ, we get, was given to die for us, and for his sake forgives us all of our sins. To those who believe in Jesus Christ, he gives the power to become children of God and bestows on them the Holy Spirit. May the Lord, who has begun this good work in us, bring it to completion in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our Old Testament reading for today is from Jeremiah, the 28th chapter. Then the prophet Jeremiah spoke to Hannah, the prophet, in the presence of the priests and all the people who were standing in the house of the Lord. 
And the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen. May the Lord do so. May the Lord also make words that you have prophesied come true and bring back to this place from Babylon the vessel of the house of the Lord and all the exiles. Yet hear now this word that I speak to you, hearing and in the hearing of all people. The prophets who preceded you and me from ancient times prophesied war, famine, and pestilence against many country, countries and great kingdoms. As for the prophet who prophesied peace, then the word of that prophet came to pass. Then it will be known that the Lord has truly sent the prophet. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our epistle reading is written in Romans, the seventh chapter. Release from the law, or do you not know, brothers, for I am speaking of those who know the law, that the law is binding a person only as long as he lives. For a married woman is bound by the law to her husband while he lives, but if her husband dies, she is released from the law of marriage. Accordingly, she will be called an adulteress if she lives with another man while her husband is alive. But if her husband dies, she is free from that law, and if she marries another man, she is not an adulteress. Likewise, my brothers, you have died to the law through the body of Christ, so that you may belong to another, to him who has been raised from the dead, in order that we may bear fruit for God. For while we were living in the flesh, our sinful passions, aroused by the law, were at work in our members to bear fruit for death. But now we are released from the law, having died to that which held us captive, so that we serve in a new way of spirit and not in the old way of the written code. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel, according to St. Matthew, the 10th chapter. Not peace, but a sword. Do not think that I have come to bring peace on the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and daughter against her mother, and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. The one who receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And the one who receives a righteous person, because he is a righteous person, he will receive a righteous person's reward. And whoever gives one of these little ones even a cup of cold water, because he is my disciple, truly I say to you, he will by no means lose his reward. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, 
and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The text for my message today is from Matthew 10, 34 through 42. The gospel you have heard today is the basis of today's sermon, especially these words. Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but the sword. Or I have come to set man against his father and daughter against her mother and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves his father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life and loses it and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Hello and greetings. It is wonderful to worship with you all this morning, and I hope you are all doing well. I hope you are not shocked by our gospel reading today. Even as I read it, it sends a jolt through me. Who is this Jesus here in Matthew 10. He looks like Jesus, I know. But when he speaks, I, I feel a little uncomfortable. Do not think that I have come to bring peace on the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but the sword. Isn't Jesus a, a God of peace? Isn't Jesus a God of love? That's what we're taught. Right? Right? So who is this Jesus who speaks so boldly? Who is this Jesus who does not bring peace but the sword? Why, is, why are our fathers turning against their sons and daughters against their mothers? Jesus, he's, he is supposed to be nice. He's supposed to be peaceful. He's supposed to be loving. Who is this Jesus who brings the sword?
Does that make you feel uncomfortable? Do you squirm a bit in your chair when you hear that? We might squirm so much that we might ignore what Jesus is saying here, even though it's for our own good. You might say, I I love my father, or I love my mother, or I love my son, or I love my daughter. Why should I be set against them? Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Well, I don't think that'll be a a problem. Or is it? How many of you have parents who have, uh, who, who have, who have had your children say to you, Mom, Dad, getting up so early to go to church on a Sunday is really taking time out of my day off. Let me sleep in. Or maybe you're more a progressive parent and you don't care if your child leaves the faith. After all, they are free to do so. Perhaps you have come to faith later in life, and when your family comes to visit, you lead them in prayer. Only for a mother or father to (sighs) sigh, believing you are being foolish to ask the Lord's blessing on this meal. Maybe you have a friend that has recently come out as gay and demands that you accept and endorse his sinful behavior or he is going to terminate your friendship. I can go on, but I think you You're starting to get the picture. We live in a world hostile to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hostile to the forgiveness of sins that comes exclusively from the death and resurrection of our Lord and the cross at Calvary. And you are going to be put in situations where friendships and family bonds are going to be put to the test. The world is going to tell you, compromise your beliefs. And if you won't drive your friends away, the world is going to tell you, be silent in your belief. And you won't offend your non-believing family. The world is going to tell you that it's going to be me, the world, or Christ. Now do the world... Do the words of Christ ring true? I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. What are we doing if we value these earthly relationships? Yes, even family. Above God. What happens when we fear, love, and trust someone more than God. They become God in our eyes, as we would rather not compromise that earthly bond between a family member or a friend.
And what does Jesus have to say about loving your father or your mother or your son or your daughter or your friend more than him? Do, no, do not let the world deceive you into thinking the Lord is just going to let that slide. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. Either you are hot for me, or you are cold for me. But if you are lukewarm, I will spit you from my mouth. A person's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. The Lord does not offer us compromise with the world, for it is the same world that hated him and killed him. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. You're going to have a fight with those closest to you, family, friends, close and extended, acquaintances, and work colleagues. But take heart. For your rock is Christ Jesus. Your salvation is in Christ, not by the works of your hands, but by the free gift of salvation, that when you die, not if, when you die, you need not be afraid. You might take comfort that your name is written in the book of life, and he is going to head to prepare a room for you. Now that is the Jesus I know. I hope you know him too. And when you come across those who wish to pull you away from Christ or merely wish to be left alone and recoil from the good news of Jesus Christ, you do not shrink away but armed with the knowledge of the great news of Jesus Christ and how his blood has been poured out and shed for all, you might not sit idle, but use any confrontation or debate as an opportunity to set yourself next to the river of life that is the gospel of Jesus Christ, and the good news of salvation, and share that salvation and the peace that only God can bring. Now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. We continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you his peace. Amen.
Thank you for viewing Main Street Living this morning. Our hope is that you have been blessed and encouraged by this presentation. If you are able to attend local services, I would like you to invite you to worship at our congregation. If you are in the city of Crestbard area, please join us at Concordia Lutheran Church Sunday mornings at 9 o'clock. This broadcast is supported by viewers like you and their financial help allows this broadcast to continue. You can join us by sending a contribution of any amount to the address listed below. For more information about this program, it can be found at MainStreetLiving.com. Thank you again for joining us today. Have a blessed week.